Good morning, beautiful Libras. Today we're gonna to be doing your daily. We're also gonna get a love reading out as well, King of Cups. We have King of Cups in your header. This could be someone emotionally developing feelings for you at this current time. It could be a returning person that's still sitting in their feelings. It can be an apologetic person as well. We also have the sun at the bottom of the deck. I told you guys this two days ago that this energy was going to be lingering through your weekend. And I actually think it's gonna seep well into your Monday of next week. I strongly believe in that Leo energy. You also have a water sign with that King of Cups. We have a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. So someone's really emotional um, over you and they could actually be able to see you in this sun energy, this positive light. Uh, you could be shedding some positive light somewhere, Libra. Could be in something you're posting. It could be in your recent photos. Something maybe here on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, something like that. If you still got a Snapchat, we have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let's keep that. So you're balancing work, and I feel here it's a life thing. It's work, and it's school, and it's also the kids. It's also your week in general, trying to balance it before the holidays. I think Christmas is minded at this time. A lot of you are getting in your very practical minded. What do I need to attack next? Okay, we got that strength too at the bottom of the deck. More Leo energy. Some of you are truly being followed by a Leo right now. Um, I feel like a Leo sort of viewing the way you do things as well. Or you could have Leo highly aspected somewhere. It could even be in one of your major houses of family or networking. It could even be in your love life as well. You could have Leo somewhere in a caring center too of your chart. All right, let's keep attacking it. Three of Cups. So I'm going to go with the bottom of the deck right now and the energies. We have Temperance, a Sagittarius. We also have Gemini here, Lover's Card. Someone deeply thinks of you as the partner that they should have. That's how I want to put it in this reading. There's someone here that sees your value, uh, your caressing and sensitive nature towards others. I feel like someone here sees you as a family person too, Libra. Eight of Cups. We're deciding to walk away from something or someone. It could also be from a water sign or a fire sign. Some of you are really walking away from someone. Um, I get with this energy that they have been somewhat of a non-committal person in your life. I feel like they haven't shown you the honor that maybe some other people do show you. I feel like this next chapter too, coming up in January and February, you're going to be really peeling people out of your life, Libra, that have long been there and they no longer serve you, okay? Um, this could be due to the fact that you've watched them over time, their relationship to you, what they've shown you. And also, and not to be too fickle here, I think some of you just know that they don't have that much of a place. You're not as hurt by them anymore. So this is going to be happening a lot through February, one of my predictions here. Okay, let's keep going. Show me Libra for the day, please. Show me Libra's next few moves. The next few moves. I'm going to add this on the channel too, coming up. So you're going to be seeing your next few moves that you do. Or you could sift through them, Libra, and choose the highest, most exalted message of your next move as well. Let's see here. What's going on for Friday's energy? The uh, the little kids, my brother's kids, which I drop off and pick up every day, they had pajama day today. So it was very weird seeing all these five, six, seven-year-olds walk into the school with just their pajamas and hair undone. And I thought that was sort of like a weird Friday feature today. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. A lot dropped. I did see the three of pentacles on the floor. We also have the five of pentacles. Something here in your next few steps is kind of driven from a center of lack. It's something that we don't have. It's something that we wish or even deign to have. And Libra, take this lightly too today, because I feel like some of you have gone into this thought. It's something here that you really want and you're about to achieve in 2023, but it is derived from a place of lack, something you don't have. So kind of identify today what that thing is that you lack and you most want because it's going to be a huge thing that you find in 2023. It's something here that you're going to walk into. It's sort of like a great fortune, good luck sort of thing that you do. I sense for a lot of you it's in the spring, in the springtime. Thank you, Spirit. Next few moves. Yeah, Emperor, our opposite sign. You're going to be turning into an Aries the next few days. Uh, it's just a bossing up. It's sort of a managerial role in your life, prioritizing optimizing what doesn't work anymore what does it's sort of a list like i see a list of things to do here libra some of you are very efficient at this time you're going to be more efficient as the next few days roll by because it's going to be like this leo aries combination of the sun and the emperor 
beautiful and it landed right on top of the lovers some of you are going to set work and love life straight this next coming year someone also too for some of you on the channel is going to finally commit and i'm heavily seeing that but then i have a turnaround here and see you for what you are but libra it might be a little too late for you and this person i feel like they've arrived and they've realized and you're almost out the door so that's something here for somebody give me more clues and hints too for libra today for their daily what else can they look out for empress <laughs> we have taurus and libra energy here what does the empress do when they have nothing left uh to be grateful for they continue to work hard set new goals some of you are doing body goals like you're trying to get in shape for spring it's already beginning the planning has begun the dieting has begun here it's something too about you glowing your skin uh, the perception that you have on others at this time it could be super positive libra and you're starting this regimen that's going to lead into the new year so many of you are goal oriented at this time Let's keep going for this daily. What other messages are here? Spirit angels, show me protection. Show me guidance. Show me next moves for Libra, please. Next moves for the Libra, please. And I'm taking my time today, Libra, to shuffle more because I feel like in the last few days, the shuffling has been quite fast. So I really want to do this with intent and I really want to practice getting you some good answers here there is something about the pattern of shuffling that syncs up with what you ask as well to spirit and your guides okay thank you queen of swords the eight of swords and the nine of pentacles the bottom of the deck is the anxiety and worry card this is your challenge today anything that's sort of weighing on you libra i see sort of like a backpack but someone's been carrying it I feel like a lot of proposed energies have put this energy onto you. Like this video, if you feel that way or in some happenstance you've walked into it. I feel like other energies, they put pressure onto your back where otherwise you wouldn't have it. Okay, um, That independence is coming. Wait for it in January. You're going to see a lot of things turn around for you. There's going to be huge turnaround karma return back to you type of energy come January just wait the holidays are going to be heavy but january is going to be very rewarding the eight of swords is something that you already know you've looked in the mirror already so this worry that you have comes from fears it comes from the anxieties that you've built up and they've been falsified over time because libra if you look at your day things are really not that bad after everything has sort of receded back into the the ocean here or the waves so you have this queen of swords I feel like a lot of you are still speaking out, still saying what's on your mind. Um, it might intimidate some people at times. It could also put people off. But I think you get the results now that you've always wanted. You're saying no on time. You're also saying no to protect your energy. I feel like a lot of you, this is saving you time and it's saving you angst. Uh, Queen of Swords here in actually the right side. And I've been thinking of the right side of the brain. It's very creative. It's very artsy. It's also very intellectual and willing to socialize with people. So that's where your queen of swords kind of, it kind of landed here on my right, or I positioned it here on my right. And I feel like you're getting creative with how you speak to people. Not only are you firm now, but it's coming off as, this is my final say, please respect my boundaries. Okay, so that's how that queen of swords is coming out. And I feel like it opened up a lot of what you used to tell yourself all of the falsified notions of things that were always an anxiety for you and i feel like you're making a beautiful world now where everything is coming into place with that leo energy all right so up next is going to be a love reading it's going to be the energy between you and a certain person please stay tuned to video too